Hello YouTubers, this is Ronnie Henson in Southwest Oklahoma. Little update, uh, sold my old tracker, Protein 175 Pro Crappie, and got this uh, 2018 Protein 190 TX, and this thing's got a bad ass engine on it. It's got the uh, Mercury Pro XS 115, and I did a little upgrades on this boat and I'm gonna walk around and show you what I did. First of all, I changed the uh, prop out from the aluminum three-bladed prop to the uh, four-bladed Spitfire X7 performance prop. I'm real happy about that. Uh, got a Lowrance. Elite TI 7 inch touch screen on the front, or the not the front, but the uh, console with uh, side imaging, down scan, sonar, all that good stuff. Uh, changed out the other bicycle seat for a uh, 30 inch hydraulic pedestal with the uh, bicycle seat that's got the uh, concave back on it where you can stand up and lean against it. I really like the Hooks 2.7 uh, from my other boat, so I installed this one uh, up front, and I used the uh, Decket mount, which is really nice, and that's a 22.5-degree slant on that one right there. I took the 12-volt trolling motor, motor off, upgraded the system to a 24-volt, with four gauge wire, which it already had in the boat. Uh, the only thing that I did is added another battery back there and a jumper wire. And I put the uh, motor guide, and this motor guide right here is the uh, 5X uh, digital 24 volt, 70 pound thrust. Super nice trolling motor. And what I really like about it is, is not only the fact that it's very powerful, but it has that old style gator mount and that thing is bulletproof. And I didn't use the rubber isolators. I actually did away with those and took that front panel off and went all the way in with stainless steel uh, bolts and nuts with uh, rubber washers underneath of the uh, trolling motor base. And this thing's mounted as solid as you can get. You can move it, you can pull the boat around with it. That's how solid it is. But, it, and then I went down to my local tracker dealer, tried to order some uh, rod holders for the Versa track. And of course, they can't get them because of COVID 19 or whatever. And actually, I'm glad they didn't because I ordered these off of eBay. These are the Canon Versa track that are built by Canon for the Bass trackers. 10 times better than the original tracker rod holders. Man, I'm so pleased with these, it's unreal. But uh, you can see this right here has the big knobs on it. It has the spacer right there. Uh, these things are made out of a, a real durable, hard plastic. Uh, and you can just turn them any direction that you want to. Really nice. This is the inside of the seats. That's the back right there. And this one here uh, came with the uh, chrome wheels and also the spare has the chrome. And then uh, belt buckles on the back instead of those little cheesy straps. And then you can see the motor from this side. And then you can see the layout of the boat. I'm really excited about getting this thing out on the water and see what it can do. Uh, and then I'll give you guys a report on that prop right there and let you know how that runs on this particular engine right here.
Okay, that's it for right now. Uh, I'm excited to get it on the water and uh, see what she'll do. I'm hoping I can get at least 45 miles an hour out of it. I don't know. This is the uh, <clears throat> Bass Tracker Pro 190TX. So we'll see. Anyhow, I'll get back with you guys and let you know what the outcome is and how I like that prop. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you like any of these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. The next video I'll be posting uh, will be hopefully this boat on the lake and we'll see what kind of performance I can get out of this thing. Uh, thanks for watching.